madness in full effect. The anticipation and crowds are expected to grow, and it's not just for basketball. That's where RTV6 and Melissa Mahadeo is live tonight, where celebrations will take place tomorrow. Melissa. Yeah, Erica, it's going to be a fun Friday for sure. Thousands of visitors, shall we call them guests, already in town right now. Many to watch one of the four scheduled games for tomorrow. But say, hey, basketball isn't your thing, maybe, even though we're hosting. Well, you're probably still headed downtown tomorrow because... It's St. Patrick's Day. Earlier today, we saw the mayor and the governor turn the canal green. Now come tomorrow, we'll be lucky if we can find a drink that isn't dyed that leprechaun color. Today, we also caught up with some locals and guests to see what their big plans are for this busy Friday. And of course, who they picked for their brackets. Our grandma and grandpa are both from Oklahoma. And uh, where'd your daddy go to school? Oklahoma. State. State. We'll be out and about. Out and about. Early on. Get in the game if we can. If not, we'll enjoy it outside. Probably going to the Michigan game. Yeah. 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 We are going to the St. Patrick's Parade. <gasps> oh, going to the parade and we got tickets for the game. So we'll be rooting the, the Pistol Pete on, huh? And uh, the Cowboys. So. What I tell you, a busy Friday tomorrow. Now, just now, the parade was mentioned. I want to make note of that because if, unfortunately, you are working tomorrow and not celebrating downtown, you are going to want to keep that in mind to avoid all of the traffic. For right now, reporting downtown, I'm Melissa Mahadeo, RTV6 News. And speaking of that parade, the 37th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade starts at 1130 in the morning on Pennsylvania Street. Then it circles around on Ohio Street and heads back up Meridian. High school bands, floats, Irish dancers, bagpipes, and drum bands will all be marching.